So you have a mobile and you wish you could make a game there. Your search is over as in this video I'll be showing you how to create this amazing game. In this first part we will be setting up everything which involves downloading the engine, discovering Godot's UI and creating the worlds for the game. Okay, so the first thing I would really like to clarify is that I'm gonna mirror uh, my screen device to my PC so that I can record it and also so that I can use my mouse and my keyboard to actually make the game because as you may understand creating a whole game in a mobile um, by using the touch input is super uncomfortable and the tutorial would last ages. But okay, you can see here, this is my phone screen. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to go to the Play Store and we're gonna look for uh, Goodjot. And as you can see, we have here both versions. So I will really encourage you uh, to use the fourth version of the engine. So let's click right here and click Install. It's very important to remember that this version is an early access version, so you may encounter some bugs and errors, but overall it works very fine. Okay, so once this is installed, let's click here where it says open. And well, as you can see, uh, as soon as you open the application, it's gonna ask you to give it all file access. Uh, this is mandatory. Uh, as in game development, you are we are gonna be creating a lot of scripts, images, etc. So that's why this step is mandatory. So here in the list of apps, uh, you're gonna you're gonna look for uh, the engine and you're gonna check it. Then you're gonna click on this arrow right here, and everything will start loading. Okay, now that we are here. We are gonna click here cancel because we don't want to open any library or something like that. And okay, so here is um the, the first screen of the engine. And we have here some buttons that are the most important one. We can create a new project, import an existing project, uh, edit the project, run a project with a lot of stuff. Uh, but, but just to keep it very simple, I'm gonna uh, click here new project and i'm gonna give it a name so in this case uh, my project will be called um tutorial i am mobile for example but you can give it any name that you want okay after you give it a name here you can select uh, your path but in my case i'm just gonna leave the default path and there i'm gonna create a new folder finally here you can select your renderer i really recommend you to just leave the default option which is mobile and then finally we just we just have to click here create and edit now the project will be loading and we will have to wait a couple of seconds it may take a while but when your project is open we are now gonna to be setting up our project but before doing so i'd like to explain to you uh, some very basic stuff about the interface in this engine so firstly on the top right here we have the 2d environment that is the one that we're gonna be using on this case then we have the 3d environment the script environment and the asset library okay but let's now just go to the 2d one because it's um, the environment that we are gonna be using here we can uh, do some gestures with our fingers in order to stretch uh, the zoom as you can see and also with these bars right here as you can see I can also move around on the bottom left um, we have the file system here as you can see we have all the files um, on our the project because for example here i only have the icon but here when i create for example a scene or something like that will appear here okay then we have um the scene a uh, window where we will have all of our game objects 
We also have here the inspector. The inspector is the window in which we will be able to modify and these game objects well actually in good doubt the game objects are called nodes okay but we are going to be talking about that later so those are the most important things about the interface that you should know okay so now that you should understand the basic interface of the engine we're going to create our first scene so we're going to uh, click here on our uh, scene a uh, 2d scene because we want to actually create a 2d scene not a 3d scene and we're gonna rename this scene to something called like main then we're gonna click here at the top scene and here save scene as okay and here we're just gonna click save and as i told you right here on our file system as you can see i see the main scene i've just created now it's time to create the walls for our game so let's uh, click on our main node here and click here the add icon now i'm gonna be using my keyboard and my mouse but you could be doing the same things but in your phone okay so here i'm gonna look for static body 2d i'm gonna click here the the check and here I have my static body on my project but as you can see as soon as I have uh, created it I'm receiving this warning so let's click here and it says this node has no shape so it can collide or interact with other objects consider adding a collision shape to the or collision polygon to the as a child to define its shape so that's exactly what we are gonna do as this body has no collision it won't be able to actually uh, behave as a wall so let's rename it to wall actually to top wall okay and then right here we are gonna add another node called uh, collision shape to the okay this one okay and here again we're receiving another warning a shape must be provided for collision shape to d2 function please create a shape resource for it so we are gonna select the collision shape to the and over here in the inspector we can create a shape so remember what i told you at the beginning the inspector is the window with which we can modify a node so we want to modify the collision shape and create an actual shape so let's create here where it says empty and here as you can see we have a lot of collision shapes that we can use we have for example circle rectangle capsule etc in this case as i'm gonna create just some walls i believe the best shape that we could use is actually a rectangle so let's click that then i want to zoom in a little bit if you are in your phone to zoom in remember you just do like this with your fingers okay so i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more okay so here uh, we also have um these uh, blue lines right here this is the viewport so this is what we are actually gonna see when we start playing so for our collision shape as you can see when i select it here on my scene we have all these points here that are gonna be useful in order to uh, resize our collision so for example uh, if i draw right here as you can see the size changes so what i want to be doing is just making my collision a little bit larger like this so that as you can see it covers the top part of my screen so when i add a ball and a ball collides with this collision shape it should bounce and it shouldn't the ball i mean continue this way so this is our top wall we're gonna duplicate it in order to duplicate it it's quite simple we just have to uh, hold the click there in our mobile or if you are using a keyboard control d okay and here uh, we're gonna look for duplicate right here okay and as you can see we have it uh, top wall too so let's rename it to bottom wall okay and now i'm gonna move this bottom wall uh, to the bottom part actually so in order to do that 
I'm gonna be using the move tool is this tool right here and as you can see these two arrow appear the the red arrow is to move it horizontally but we don't want to move it horizontally we want to move it vertically so with the green line with the green arrow we can do that so let's just click here and drag it right here it doesn't have to be perfect remember to save uh, your changes so that you don't lose your progress thanks a lot for watching subscribe to the channel and remember to like and comment if this video was helpful thanks again and have an amazing day